So guys, we're here at Pacific Raceways. You can see right now behind me, all the different vendors are setting up. We're getting ready for the car show. So I'll bring you guys around. We'll check everything out once everything opens. Got the WRX over there. I'm setting up with my buddy, Andrew from Stateside Garage. So we're gonna be shooting some video for his business, for his YouTube channel and a bunch of different stuff today, as well as making video content yeah, for my channel, so. Well, I'd like to welcome you guys to Pacific Raceways for today's car event car show. I'll put the info up on the screen because I don't even know the, t the name of it. But let's go walk around and see what we can find. And let's go have some fun checking out some Pacific Northwest car culture. This NSX is sick. I saw it at Week Fest or Weck Fest in Seattle last year, and it looks like it's straight out of Gran Turismo. I love this car. Let me know what you guys think. Smash the thumbs up if you like this type of content. Well, guys, you can see the WRX is kind of in the middle of the show, and it's because when I got here to set up with Andrew from Stateside Garage, I parked my car right here, and everything kind of filled in around it, and I wasn't asked to move it, so I just kind of left it there. So we're going to be over here at uh, Stateside Garage at his booth. Yeah, Andrew's got everything set up and he hired me to come here and shoot some video for his website as well as his YouTube channel. So this is Andrew from Stateside Garage's booth and I uh, bought pretty much all my stuff from my garage from Andrew. So you guys should be pretty familiar with Stateside Garage. got a R32 GTR, one of his friend's cars that showed up, and they're gonna be on display here, so let's check out his R32. R32 GTS. That suspension is so soft. Yeah. Stock, I've never ridden a car with stock suspension before. <laughs> That's crazy. It's super quiet, too. Let's have stock down by Steering wheel looks tender. <laughs> yeah, I like the size of that uh, steering wheel too. The RB20 in this is super smooth. So I was talking to the owner, this is actually GTS, 
and you can tell when you look at the fenders like they did the front end conversion um, you can see the brakes are slightly different and they got those are Sumito aluminum calipers um, of course you have GTS interior so that's your kind of your tall uh, tell sign GTS interior but the rear uh, fenders you can tell are not nearly as wide as the GTR yeah. But looks very nice. Kakimoto exhaust. It's got a GTR wing on it. Nice conversion. Got another black NSX. Just chilling. Cool carbon hood. Big wide fenders. Very cool looking. I love this top scoop looking thing. Non functional though. Look at these Project Moo brakes up here. I've never seen a set in person before. Way too much for me. <laughs> How much smaller the WRX is versus my new one. The OTWX, so much smaller. Look at the dimensions of the body. So much like less contour in the shape. Pretty clean looking though. I miss my old car. You look at like the difference in the height. Like the height is so much lower, it's like like mid chest. It's gonna take forever if I try to shoot every single car. So let's just do a little bit of walking around and see what we see here. So we look in DC2 Integra. Look at that awesome B18C engine. VTEC. So we look in wheels, spoon brakes, Type R. It's got the Recaro seats on the inside, which is sick. This 2016 WRX is pretty sick looking. I like how aggressive all the body work is on it. Look at that front splitter. Front bumper is crazy. That ETS from that intercooler, how it sits in there nice and tall is pretty cool. I like the side skirts, how they go back. Carbon inlet. Sick. We've got some titanium stuff in here. Engine bay dress up. That's kind of the mods to the car. It's a charge speed wide body kit. Cop tuning stuff. It's cool, man. Look at this stuff. 
It's like titanium hardware. This thing has the sweetest red interior. I freaking love what these guys did with this. Leave me some comments down below. Look at this thing. This is awesome, including the liner too. It's all done. And this thing has a big sexy 2J in it for the precision turbo. Gritty blow off valve. This is something I could definitely see myself driving. This NSX over here is super sick. It's pretty much all stock. It has the original NSX brakes, NSX, NSX wheels, and it's really nice. Like the interior and everything. Original leather, still, you know, in pretty decent shape. And it's cool to see this car. This is my favorite car. I did quite a few laps around the road course on Pacific Raceway in this, and it is a very nice driving car. Very well balanced. This has big turbo hit the boost. This M6 is nice. I would love to get myself a BMW, I just can't afford one. But if I had, you know, the extra 75 to 80 grand, 100 grand to drop, this would be an awesome daily driver. Fun, luxurious, performance. Look at this R35 GTR, it's got like a uh, chrome red wrap on it. How low that is. It's on the ground. It's sick. BMW M3 on some work wheels. Hoodies, t shirts. You know, like Stance Wars, Daily Driven. Mm. <laughs> Bomb Fest 20 graced. The Pacific Raceways, around with the clipboards. If you see someone at your car, then there's stuff that they may not see, but in the scene, judging cars today. Put around, so make sure you visit one of the many awesome vendors here. About the event. Things, I don't know. It's uh, open for business if you guys want some food. Maybe get you guys warmed up some. So we better get in line, get in now before they sell it. Well guys, I think I'm going to end today's video actually at this point. There's enough content here to probably have 20 minutes of me just walking around and kind of checking out the car show and kind of the car meet. You guys, hopefully you got some cool vibes of what it's like to be down here. You guys leave me some comments down below. Let me know what your favorite car was. And I'll see you on the next video, which will be quarter mile racing on the other side. You guys take care. Peace out.